The Romans, in the time of Julius Caesar, were totally preoccupied by the fear that they were not producing enough children. The sterile uh, pagan nobility died out with them, their ancestors' idea of Rome. No one wanted to have any children, and no one wanted to get married. catastrophically falling birth rates, well below the replacement level. It's entirely possible that the French will disappear. There will be no native-born French that come from the traditional French uh, population. What some call the demographic winter of Western societies. It's happening in rich countries, it's happening in poor countries, it's happening in Catholic countries, Islamic countries, and that is everywhere uh, people are having fewer and fewer children. Never in history have we had economic prosperity accompanied by depopulation. When there are many too many old people and not very many young people to work and to look after them, which is what's on the books now, uh, mathematically speaking. You're going to have economic collapse, there won't be enough people to run the trains or pay the taxes. For those of us who uh, were raised to believe in the teachings of Thomas Malthus or Charles Darwin, for example, these trends are very hard to absorb. And for such a small nation as Latvia, it might even endanger the, the survival of a nation. The only way you can sort of preserve the theory is to say, well, certain kinds of human beings are on the way to extinction. Now we have 40 years of social science. It makes it absolutely clear that the deterioration of marriage, the encouragement of sexuality outside of marriage is just not, it's not good for society, women, children, or men. On every measure ever measured by the social sciences, the intact married family is the strongest on every outcome ever measured. We as the policymakers think that the best way um, to improve the demographic situation is by strengthening the families. It's also true, I think, for people who are worried about women's rights, about the gay rights, about environmentalism. All of these movements are deeply informed by a 1970s era preoccupation with the so-called population bomb.